2016 Olympic champion, five time world and Olympic medalist. Both wrestled as part of that team. Pattaya, 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 junior world champ was Xiao Fong. Junior world bronze was Sada Dosho. Dosho also a 2011 junior world champion. These are matches that make it great to be a wrestling fan. <laughs> like, oh goody, and this is just a continental. And don't mean that in a negative fashion. I mean, it's a big deal to win a continental championship. It's, you know, we got a world level final here. Xiao won the Asian Games a year ago, also picked up gold at the Asian Championships. And again, we mentioned that Japan had traditionally not sent all of its number ones to this event. A few more notable names. Dosho being one of them. Risako Kawai. Of course, Kaori Icho making her international return. Open. Let open. Contact blue. Arguably one of the greatest wrestlers in the history of wrestling eternity. Icho who will compete tomorrow at 53 kilos. Short drag for Dosho, drops down to the single. Driving the action to the hip. Is two gonna be confirmed? That's the question, two is confirmed. So Sana Dosho taking the early lead. And there was a clear jump in her performance back in 2012, 2013, jumping from a a junior world bronze to a senior world bronze in a year. But again, it's that, okay, bronze, okay, silver, okay, bronze, and then that Olympic championship followed with a world championship. Just, you know, the credentials were there, but it's, it just seemed like the level of wrestling improved. Instead of winning close, she started winning consistent. Expanding the gap of those scores. The third of the four finals between Japan and China. It's one to one between the two countries in finals right now. Japan with the extra gold with the win over Alton Setseg of Mongolia at 59. Attention for interlocking of the fingers. Under 30 to go here. Dosho leading Xiaofang of China. Short time here, 2-0 lead for Dosho. And that'll do it for the first period. Just the takedown is all we've got. here in Xi'an getting behind their countrywoman. You know, 
to the contrasting styles. You got the longer, lankier Xiao and then the more compact Dosho. Dosho lowers her level, it creates a lot less space to shoot for, whereas Xiao with a longer target to hit from an offensive wrestler standpoint. Again, team scoring, 25 for gold, 20 for silver, 15 for bronze, 10 for fifth. Eight, six, four, and two for seven through 10. Through the first three weights of this tournament, Japan holding a 70 to 60 lead over China. Mongolia, 41 points, Kazakhstan, 38. India, 34, Korea, 30. And then quite a gap between six and seven, of course, these team points accrued and published at the end of each weight class. All those results at arena.unitedworldwrestling.org. Passivity being offered against Dosho. And Dosho will now be on the activity period. Referee just checking with the match here to make sure that was the second attention. Or excuse, yeah, that way the passivity clock started correctly. And Dosho not too concerned with the point she just gave up. 50 to go. Xiao really hasn't done a whole lot in terms of creating any real offense, though. Half shot, that's all we're seeing. Another half shot. Got to commit to draw that passivity, in my opinion. Can't just push. And that's an attention contact, so it's basically, there is the warning. And now Zhao with the shot attempt. Dosho can take, Zhao was gonna say Dosho can take a step out and still hold criteria, but she reverses direction, knows where she's at on the mat, gets the step out and extends her lead to 3-1 in short time, and now she can dance. And now, caution and one, will it be confirmed? It will be confirmed. So there's the caution point. She can actually give up another one. Stepping around, front headlock. And that'll do it. So Sada Dosho of Japan will pick up the 3-2 victory and a gold medal. Japan's third of the night. So the World Olympic champion will prevail. Tactical match.